we are pleased to welcome, both in person and virtually, the candidates, faculty, administration, and staff of Stevens Institute of Technology, along with the family and friends of our graduating students. Today, we honor and celebrate the class of 2021. We begin the program with a video representing the ceremonial procession of our candidates. Not one of us is who we were four years ago. Although the diploma still says Steve, we barely fill out these grown-up clothes. How can something so close approach so slow? Think back to romanticizing today, those distant promises we look to in youth. Now, tomorrow morning, we will all wake to discover new choices. Which song should we play? Maybe you'll choose to sing to yourself. Uh, maybe you'll let people listen for free. Maybe you'll improvise power and wealth. For every encore exists a farewell. You're as much the crowd as you are the performer. You're equally critic as you are trustee. You'll be the boss and still you'll take orders. But among all these things, when it's cold, you'll be warmer. You're you, and that's all you need to be. As you walk forward, strut passionately. Armed with our spirits and our degrees, Stevens, we thank you, and now we are free. Please rise as we welcome to the stage the administration of Stevens Institute of Technology, including President Nariman Farvardin, today's commencement speaker, Dr. Giovanni Coforio, Provost Christophe Pierre, Chairman of the Board, Stephen Boswell, all led by the Faculty Marshal, Dr. Billy Middleton.
Thank you. If everyone would please be seated. Hello, my name is Billy Middleton, and as faculty marshal, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 149th commencement ceremony of Stevens Institute of Technology. Today we are celebrating graduates from the College of Arts and Letters, School of Systems and Enterprises, and the Biology, Chemical Biology, Chemistry, Engineering Physics, Physics, and Mathematics programs in the Charles V. Schaefer Jr. School of Engineering and Science. Each degree candidate has worked diligently to attain the goal that will be realized in today's ceremony. We begin with the singing of the national anthem, pre-recorded by members of the President's Ensemble. We ask that everyone, wherever you may be, please rise as you are able. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave? Will the candidates and audience please be seated. Please welcome to the podium the seventh president of Stevens Institute of Technology, Nariman Favarden. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, graduates, uh, family members, and friends. Good afternoon. I was hoping to get a little more enthusiasm out of this audience, so I'm going to try it again. Good afternoon. Very good. Very good. We need some excitement and energy here. Class of 2021, today you become graduates of Stevens Institute of Technology, and I offer you my warm, sincere, and enthusiastic congratulations. You, you have earned the right to celebrate this momentous and hard-won achievement. Your families are proud of you, your faculty at Stevens are proud of you, and I am personally proud of you. The past year has undoubtedly been a time of tremendous disruption and generation-defining change. You've proven yourself to be adaptable and resilient in the face of many unexpected challenges, and you have persevered. Your time at Stevens has shaped the person you are today, but you are now equipped to shape your future. You have the education, the experience, the wisdom, and the determination to overcome whatever obstacles may get in your way. When you face those obstacles in the future, think back to those challenges you faced during your last few years, and in particular, the past year. Those difficult problems, those demanding professors, those classes that challenged you, they all help you in the future. And now, look at where you are today. Think of the toolkit that helped you through those difficult situations. Perseverance, hard work, support from family, friends, and faculty. Whatever it took to make it to today. You will rely on those same tools over and over again throughout your life. Like the 50,000 distinguished Stevens graduates before you, you are well prepared to recognize and take advantage of all the world will offer you in your professional and personal lives to identify and solve the thorny problems we face as a society 
and to be the next generation of pioneers, technology innovators, and global citizens that our world so desperately needs. Whatever your future holds, I am sure of one thing. You will step up to the challenge and create a better future for all of us. So let me take this opportunity to thank you for all you've done to make Stevens a better place during your time with us. I look forward to seeing you on campus as a proud member of the class of 21 soon and often thereafter. And lastly, and most importantly, congratulations on your tremendous achievement. Always remember that you are a lifelong member of the Stevens community. Congratulations again. Please welcome to the stage the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Christophe Pierre. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Members of the Board of Trustees, President Favardin, faculty, staff, students, families, friends, and guests, and most importantly, students from the College of Arts and Letters, the School of Systems and Enterprises, and the School of Engineering and Science, it is an honor and a pleasure to share this happy occasion with you. After more than one year of, of upheaval, it is wonderful to be here to celebrate with you in person. We're very proud of you, and we know that you've worked very hard to reach this milestone. As Chief Academic Officer of Stevens, I applaud the drive and commitment that brought you to this moment, not to mention the determination it took to complete your degree and plan for the next phase of your life during the unprecedented disruption caused by the pandemic. I am confident that you will succeed and that you will continue the traditions of leadership and achievement that have distinguished Stevens alumni across the generations. Now I ask that you reflect on some of the people who guided you and, and inspired you during your time at Stevens. And here I'm referring in particular to a, a talented faculty. Our professors are driving Stevens forward, building its reputation as a university dedicated to the development of knowledge and the application of technology toward addressing complex challenges and contributing to human progress. This reputation is part of the legacy that you will carry with you as you step forward to make your mark on the world. So I'm asking that you stay connected to your professors and mentors and that you yourself, you build on that legacy. With this in mind, it is fitting to take a few moments now to recognize our faculty award winners for the past academic year. So first, we're pleased to present Suran Manucheri, the chair of the Department of Mechanical Engineering with a honorary Master of Engineering degree. And then the other faculty members we are honoring with awards as follows. Brendan Englott from the Department of Mechanical Engineering for the Award of Research Excellence. Antonia Zafiriu from the Department of Biomedical Engineering for the Early Career Award for Research Excellence. And Hong Jun Wang from the Department of Biomedical Engineering for the Jess Davis Memorial Award for Research Excellence. Leslie Brunel from the Department of Civil, Environmental, and Ocean Engineering for, for the Henry Morton Distinguished Teaching Professor Award. Patricia Mirzener from the Department of Chemistry and Chemical Biology for the Alexander Crombie Humphreys Distinguished Teaching Associate Professor Award. Lindsay Cormack from the College of Arts and Letters for the Award for Excellence in Online Teaching. And Dibiendu Dibs Sokoa from the Department of Civil, Environmental, and Ocean Engineering for the award for Distinguished University Service. So I'm really proud that these outstanding teachers and scholars and that all of their colleagues provided you with a first-class education. In just a little while, you will be officially recognized as part of a very select group, Stevens alumni. Like generation of graduates before you, you have proven yourselves to be resilient, talented, and dedicated and I wish you much success in all of your future endeavors. So members of the class of 2021, congratulations and my best wishes to all.
I am back, and it is now my pleasure to announce the name of the student from the class of 2021 selected to be a member of the Board of Trustees. The trustees chose uh, this student from those outstanding students nominated by the senior class, and I am delighted to have the opportunity to congratulate, are you all ready? Haley Tanner as the newest member. As the newest member of the Board of Trustees. Uh, at this time, I am pleased to introduce our commencement speaker for today's ceremony, Dr. Giovanni Caforio, Board Chair and Chief Executive Officer of Bristol Myers Squibb. Born and educated in Italy, Dr. Caforio received his medical doctorate from the University of Rome. Today, Dr. Caforio leads a diverse global workforce dedicated to the company's mission of discovering, developing, and delivering innovative medicines that treat patients with serious diseases, including cancer, autoimmune diseases, and cardiovascular disease, among others. Under his leadership, Bristol Myers Squibb is advancing one of the most diverse and promising pipelines in the industry. Dr. Coforio has developed a strong patient-focused culture with teams who are passionate about the work they do to help address some of the most challenging diseases of our time. He has led the company's drive to promote an inclusive culture where employees are encouraged to challenge the status quo and bring forward solutions. Dr. Coforio is an active champion for a policy environment that values healthcare innovation and supports patient access to medicines. In 2015, Dr. Kaforio joined the Board of Directors for the Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America and served as Chairman of the Board in 2019. Earlier this morning, Dr. Kaforio was awarded the Doctor of Philosophy Honoris Causa for his commitment to transforming patients' lives through science and advocacy. Dr. Kaforio, welcome, please. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, let me start by thanking President Farvaden. I am honored to be here with you on this very special occasion. And let me start also by saying Congratulations to all of you, class of 2021. You have worked very hard to reach this day, navigated what is possibly the most challenging year of your lives, and accomplished so much in your academic career. I hope you take a moment today to acknowledge and enjoy your success. I also want to take a moment to recognize and thank the people who have supported you in your academic journey. Your parents, friends, loved ones, and the faculty and administrators of Stevens. Please also take a moment today to thank them. While graduation marks an important milestone in your life, it is also just the beginning. You are entering into a new world. It is an uncertain world, and we are not quite sure yet how it will be transformed by the global pandemic. But it is one you can shape and transform through your choices, your work, and your contributions. I know that what will sustain you in your next steps and through your life and your career is the strong foundation that you have built here at Stevens. And my advice to you is to never stop building on this foundation. You are the leaders of tomorrow, and I encourage you to continue to broaden your skills and strengthen your foundation. Seek out as many experiences as possible 
that will continue your growth as a scholar, as a professional, and as a person. In my career, I have always sought out new opportunities that would allow me to expand my skills and challenge me in new ways. I never stopped learning, and as a result, I never stopped growing. When I considered a new opportunity, I always started by what is it that I have never done so far? I never took the job of my boss until my current job as CEO of Bristol Myers Squibb. I trained as a physician in Italy and then moved to the industry to help even more patients. I moved to different countries when I had the chance, and that gave me a great appreciation for the difference in culture and the importance of diversity. I learned how different people will look at the same problem from a different angle and how that leads to better decisions. Now, not all of us have the opportunity to work and live internationally, but we can all plan to work in different industries and very different jobs. After working for several years in the research and development organization, I decided to move into a commercial role to build the experience I needed for my future growth and success. This decision came with a hard choice. The new position was five grades lower than my current role. This was a significant step back in my career progression. And I decided that in order to gain broader experiences, I was willing to take this risk. My family supported me, and it was the right choice. By seeking out diverse experiences, I continued to add different pillars to my professional life. I was able to bring diverse and unique perspectives to each new role, and I continue to grow my knowledge and constantly broaden my foundation. I want to be honest and tell you this is not always easy. It is not easy to move out of your comfort zone and challenge yourself in different ways. And remember this, growth and comfort are incompatible. I am confronted to an increasingly complex world every day in my profession. I see change happening faster and new challenges presenting every day. And to be successful in a complex world, you must invest to continue to grow. So I urge you to make strategic choices to build your career, a career that you are passionate about. One last piece of advice that I hope you will remember. Work will fill a large part of your life, and you should follow your passion. Do a job you love. I always say that when you find your job, your passion, you will know you are in your sweet spot. This is a great feeling. But work is not the only thing to a fulfilling life. You must also invest in building the other parts of your life, including nurturing your relationships with family and friends. They are the bedrock of our foundations and an important part of your future. Decide which values are most important to you and never deviate from them. Grow personally to grow professionally. Become a better person to be a better leader. You have a lot to be proud today and a lot to look forward to. Congratulations and I sincerely wish you all the best. Thank you. This year, a record number of undergraduate candidates in the class of 2021 have earned the distinction of first in class. 
Nine in total, each candidate attained the highest grade point average among this year's graduates. Their collective experiences range from Greek organizations, student clubs, and honor societies to research, internships, and study abroad. Each candidate has prepared a speech offering their thoughts to their classmates. These videos can be experienced in their entirety on the official Stevens YouTube channel. Today, we present a video compiling the highlights of those speeches, wishing congratulations and best wishes to the class of 2021. When I was told that I'd be first in class and that I'd have to write a speech for today, I had a lot of questions regarding the purpose of a graduation ceremony. And while I think there are a lot of different motives, the one most pertinent to me is that today serves as a time of reflection. I'll be honest with you, I didn't know what to expect when I decided to attend Stevens, nor did I even know what a degree in business and technology would entail. I can still remember sitting in the admissions office at the start of my first campus tour and realizing almost immediately that Stevens was the school for me. I decided to draw some inspiration for my speech today by sitting in my window and admiring the New York City skyline. It was here that I remembered when I was a freshman entering Stevens, I had one goal in my mind. I want to work in that city someday. Stevens has afforded all of us a great number of experiences that have made us who we are today. There will be times that require hard work and perseverance, and there will be times of celebration and great joy. It was in experiencing both of these moments that I found a personal truth. Life is beautiful because it is varied, my friends. Where there is joy, embrace it. Where there is need of joy, provide it. My lessons have come from living in a house with 28 of my friends as a member of Sigma Nu. This may seem superfluous to a college education, but they have taught me how to work with my peers toward a common goal, how to handle myself in difficult situations, and how to best support those around me. Over these past few years, we have acquired different strengths that were necessary to create our goals and make progress towards achieving them. I've learned both how to put myself out there and how to fall asleep with very loud music playing below me. The highlights that will forever stand out in my mind are the people I met along the way and the time I spent with them, both in and out of the classroom. It goes without saying that I'm also very grateful for the bigger experiences, including getting ultra prepared for a career in the business industry studying abroad in Rome, and of course, the lifelong friendships that probably started over a shared sense of stress. The most important moments in your life are not the ones when you're on stage or being publicly applauded. The most important moments are small and hidden and might not be seen by anyone else. At the end of the day, it is the relationships and memories you made that you will hold closest to your heart not the grade you received on a test you took on a random Thursday. Remember and thank everyone who has gotten you this far. Family, friends, professors, and anyone else who has been there for you. And let their efforts inspire you to keep moving. I want to thank my family, my friends, and my professors. Every person I've crossed paths with has shaped my journey. And today, each of our individual journeys intersects as we graduate Stevens. Because you were there, because you cared. Someone else is happy and important and special. I must also give credit to the professors for the education they worked hard to deliver every day in the classroom. Not even a global pandemic could seem to prevent them from continuing to work to improve their lectures and course material to give us the best they could provide. Whether we've known each other for 10 years or just a few months, we're all here now, all in the same place, and all ready to enter the real world. Going forward, I hope we all remember that we have each other. Although we go separate ways today, we will always have this community. We will always have this flock. So, think about your current goal and think about how to aim even higher. Promise me that you will never stop fighting for your dreams. That no matter what life throws your way, be it joy or strife, hell or high water, or yes, even a global pandemic, you will continue to press forward and strive to make your dreams a reality. Use what you have learned to build the world you want to live in. And once you finally think you've made it, don't stop. It might feel like the best time of your life when you get there, but I sincerely hope it isn't. 
Because if it is the best time of your life, what do you have to look forward to? I want you all to keep building new experiences for yourself and for others. Because from what I have seen, that is a future I want to live in. Thank you and congratulations to everyone graduating today. It is now time to award the candidates for baccalaureate and master's degrees. The degrees will be conferred by Chairman of the Board, Stephen Boswell, and presented by Provost Christophe Pierre. So now for the exciting part of the ceremony. Uh, will uh, please all degree candidates rise? Please rise. Right. All of you, no exceptions. <laughs> okay. So, Mr. Chairman of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of T Stevens Institute of Technology, I present to you these candidates who have satisfactorily completed all the requirements for the academic degrees, which I now ask you to confer upon them. Members of this group are recommended as candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Engineering, and Bachelor of Science. Some with dual degrees may also be candidates for the Master of Engineering or the Master of Science degree. Many are granted with honor, high honor, or highest honor, as indicated in the program. I therefore ask you to confer upon each of them the appropriate degree with such distinction as merited. By virtue of the authority vested in the trustees of Stevens Institute of Technology and on their behalf, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Engineering, or Bachelor of Science, as well as those dual degrees which you have earned and with such distinction as you have merited and admit you to all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Graduates may be seated. Please note, graduates, that the marshals will direct you to the stage at the appropriate time. When approaching the stage, please bring your diploma cover with you. For everyone's safety, guests and students may not approach the stage to take pictures. Graduates, please refrain from taking photos of any kind from the stage and return to your seats after receiving your diploma to honor your classmates. Thank you for your cooperation. Now, please welcome to the podium the Dean of the College of Arts and Letters. Good afternoon. <clears throat> My name is Kellen Thomas. I am Dean of the College of Arts and Letters. I am pleased to welcome to the stage those dynamic and creative candidates from the College of Arts and Letters who have completed all requirements for the degrees Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. Maxwell Schwartz. <laughs> Stephen Lysak. Madeira Gallagher, Brenna Trubert, Jordan Guzman, Sophia Sarklin, John Park. Michael Anthony Bloom. Christine Drogish. Esteban Lewis Ross. Esteban 
Luke Lubinsky. Katie Owens. Theodore Giordano. Jenna Sadowski. Nicole Isaac. Jordan Detlett. Caitlin Cable. Alexander Wiederach. Nicholas Laferdola. Nicholas Percival. Wynne Barnum. Gregory Kane. Joshua Palpalatar. Francesco Lombardo. Jack Kalstelnik. Maxwell Cool. Madison Gemma. Erica Bulger. Jessica Mazur. Jasmine Holgrind. Dylan Moon. Eli Trachtenberg. Nolan Vernon. Carly Morgan. Samantha Winter. Justin Chiola. Daniel Caesar. Daniel Cetarello. Antonella Raphael. Matthew Drehobel. Alex Mendelson. Sergio Scardino. Lena Emmons. Christy Marie Garino. August Clyde Ladia. Dana Leon McGuire. Now, please welcome to the podium the Dean of the School of Systems and Enterprises. Good afternoon. I am Yahya Massoud. I am the Dean of the School of Systems and Enterprises. I am pleased 
to welcome to the stage these outstanding candidates from the School of Systems and Enterprises who have completed all requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Engineering. Scott Murray, Jr. Eric Fernandez. Edward Safer. Dom Ortiz. James Serlis. George Iguna, Jr. Jayanne Therese Vicencio. James Masucci. Angelina Zakaria. Inajo Ohusu Anza. Aaron Vo. Jack Lee. Gianna Miggins. Austin Liu. Andrew Yeager. Nicole Kuzler. Emily Weeks. Sarah Bunn. Bruno Sagaro. Victoria Johansky. Adam Corby. McKenna Sargis. Thomas Polich. Johnny Azo. Juliet Yeomans. Federico Correa. Kyle McShay. Miriam Podkolzin. Kaylee Shepard. John McFerrin. Connor Smith. Andy Nguyen. Yeah. 
Viviana Fano. Brittany DeFetti. Erica O'Kelly. Alan Best. Connor Fry. Michael Fahim. Austin Luo. McKenna Catherine Sargis. Now, please welcome to the podium the Dean of the Charles V. Schaefer Jr. School of Engineering and Science. Good afternoon. I'm Jin Zhu. Dean of the Charles V. Schaefer Jr. School of Engineering and Science. I'm pleased to welcome to the stage the candidates from the School of Engineering and Science who have completed all requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Engineering and the Bachelor of Science. Zachary Dopnia. Chelsea Braithwaite. Ryan Lehman. Lucas Kamza. Samantha Borlin. Nicholas Marino. <laughs> Tobias Dalton. <laughs> Alexander Lucas. Sean Karg. Megan Randall. Natalie Saloom. Daniel Roman. Garrett Thompson. Jonathan Anatai. Ian Kruthoff. Mitra Modi. Joanna Kako. Jessica Zuckak. Gesha Shah. Maria Contreras. Estefan Santi. Douglas Kang. Marie Dashba. Amy Renee. Amy Renee. Jordan. 
George Padachevny. Michelle Ganidash. Anata Baraidis. Gabriela Latirio. Jack Mork. Jack Mork. Erica McCarthy. Skylar Migliaccio. Sydney Wint. Alexis Adger. Dolores Termini. April Ulrich. Sarita Edaya. Lisa Mangado. Clayton Lundgren. Monica Laura Geslack. Julia Zofia Liska. Michelle H. Marone. Megan Anastasia Randall. Lauren N. Renna. Please welcome to the podium. President of the Stevens Alumni Association, Ms. Victoria Velasco. As a fellow Stevens alum, and on behalf of an alumni community of 50,000, I want to extend a congratulations to all of you and your loved ones here celebrating with you today. Four years ago in Canavan Arena, I had the pleasure of presenting to your class banner and today I get to lead you in another special celebration tradition here. So the tassel on the right symbolizes your time as a student. Moving it to the left confirms your newfound status as a graduate. So graduates, will you please rise? You're going to leave your stuff on your chair. Okay. On the count of three, you're going to move your tassel from the right-hand side to the left-hand side. Are you ready? Yes? Okay, ready? One, two, three, turn your tassels. <laughs> Wherever your path takes you next, graduates, you remain connected to the Stevens legacy. We wish you the best of luck in all your adventures. And as the newest lifelong members of our alumni association, we look forward to staying connected and engaged with you for many years to come. Congratulations, class of 2021. To close today's ceremony, please welcome the faculty marshal, Billy Middleton.
We will conclude our ceremony today with the singing of the alma mater, previously recorded by the President's Ensemble. We ask the audience to please refrain from leaving and stay in their seats until the platform party has left the stage and the venue. The graduates will then leave the venue by going out the doors to the right of the stage, and the audience will leave through the main lobby. Thank you all for attending the 149th Stevens Institute of Technology commencement ceremony, and congratulations to all who have become Stevens alumni today. Thank you.